Today we're going to talk about how to package your SharePoint branding as a SharePoint 2013 app. Um, it's actually a very hot topic because since the first day that apps, uh, SharePoint apps came out, uh, a lot of people were confused what can you do versus what you cannot do. So one of the natural things that you would want to do is package your uh, branding and expose it as an app. So imagine having uh, cre creating basically a custom branding with a custom master page and being able to actually uh, sell it that particular branding um, on the App Store and so people can purchase it and apply it to their site. So automation of that process is actually, you know, it's pretty important because you're not going to tell uh, people, oh, go here and set those settings and et cetera, et cetera, and it's really not a packageable solution. So having your branding applied as an app really makes sense. So I'm going to show how to do that with Visual Studio. First things first, this is the uh, uh, a trial developer site, SharePoint 2013 developer site, which you can sign up by um, just searching for SharePoint 2013 developer site and there's a free trial basically. So I created one here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy a, a master page from this site and uh, just in a standard placeholder. Uh, so it's a gear icon, uh, site settings, master pages. That's where all of my master pages are. I just copied uh, oslo.master and I uh, renamed it to Yaroslav.master. And one thing that I did in here is uh, I added a bit of a text to uh, show that this is my master page. And obviously you're gonna have much more uh, to change. You're probably gonna have your images, your CSS, and obviously your markup in your master page. So this is my uh, the only change in my master page. So um, I'm gonna basically put this uh, master page in my app project and actually set that master page as a current master page on the client side. So I'm going to start with opening Visual Studio 2012, uh, creating a new SharePoint 2013 project. I'm going to use a bit of snippets here, so uh, but everything else is pretty much straight from the scratch. So um, I'm going to call my app SharePoint App 2. I'm going to deploy it to this particular site, make it a SharePoint hosted app, and this site is my developer site. I'm going to click Finish and Visual Studio is going to set up a solution for me. So a couple of things. First things first, I'm going to do, um, uh, so obviously Visual Studio set up a, st a standard structure for me. My CSS file is here. My images are here. Pages, also the app default page. So for something like a, 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 an app that's, that's going to package the, uh, the branding, I really will need my content where I have my CSS, my images where I have my images, pages I don't really need, scripts I will need because I'm going to be doing some scripting uh, and potentially for your master page interaction you're going to need some scripts as well. And I, I'll need one more module here so I'm going to add it, right click on a project, say new item and say module here and call it master pages. I'm going to keep, it, keep calling it master pages because I may have more than one. So I'm going to uh, delete this sample one here and uh, I'm going to add an existing master page and that's the one that o Oslo renamed to Yaroslav. I'm going to use that master page, right? So um, I don't have to change anything here. Basically the folder is going to be created on a app site and, uh, um, and, and, and the master page is going to be placed on there. So um, one other thing I would need to do um, for, for for this whole thing to work, obviously, is I need to add the JavaScript that's actually going to be um, doing all the work. So by default, there's this app JS, which is called from default ASPX. So every time you hit the landing page of the app, uh, this JavaScript is executed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, obviously I could make it more intelligent, you know, have the landing page and then have a button that says uh, apply master page or revert to the old one. I'm, I fully trust that you can do that. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna set the set to the new master page right on load. I know it's lazy, but it serves the purpose uh, for this demo, and I was really excited to show you this functionality. So I couldn't wait to uh, to play with uh, with controls. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna click. App.js and there's some demo JavaScript here that basically determines current user's name and uh, and says hello whatever name is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the JavaScript that I have in my other project here and I'll explain it in a moment what happens here. I'm going to replace the JavaScript completely. It's actually shorter as you can see. So um, so that's a replace. Now uh, what happens here is on my default page I'm calling this uh, function when everything is loaded I'm calling this function SharePoint ready. 
So this SharePoint Ready is a function here. And uh, when SharePoint is ready, this particular update master is called. So uh, what does update master do? The update master establishes the context with a root side, right? So it's a root side, not the app side. Gets a hold of the web and then sets the web URL to um, catalogs master page seattle.master. That's the default one. But what happens is that, well, it's great that all of those master pages live on a, live on a root under this particular URL. But if your master page is provisioned through your app like this, it actually lives on the app URL. So not in catalogs, but actually in the name of your app, which is my case, SharePoint app two. Uh, so I'm gonna change this to two uh, master pages, which is your module and obviously your name of your master page. And then we just click an update and um, that's it. We just execute the query. If it's successful, you say, hey, it's changed to this. And if it's not successful, it says, hey, there's been an error. So what I'm gonna do uh, is actually uncomment this custom master page, right? Because we all have seen my uh, home page, my developer site here uh, has this particular Seattle.master. So I'm gonna change it to Oslo um, or Yaroslav.master with, with a little bit of a header on the top here. Um, so that's pretty much all that's happening here. That's gonna be called as soon as the, uh, the home page of the app is hit. The one last thing that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna need to do is give give my app proper permissions because obviously just by you know running a client side app with no permissions i'm not going to be able to make that change so my app is going to have to request permissions from users so i'm going to click on app manifest xml and under permission requests here click on web and uh, i tried all of the permissions here believe it or not none of them work obviously i thought maybe manage will work you need full control you need full control permissions to actually perform this change um, so that's that's all that's required at this time and um, i'm going to close this um, all of those configuration windows and i'm ready to deploy my app um, so one thing you want to also make sure is when you click on features uh, make sure that your new module, the master pages module, is deployed as part of your features, which it is in our case. There is no need for it not to be deployed, uh, or there is no reason for it not to be included here. But so let's deploy the solution. Uh, I'm going to click deploy here and uh, wait for the connection to be established with my with my uh, uh, SharePoint developer site here. So the app is currently, so the site is currently, uh, Visual Studio is currently connecting to this particular site. And uh, one thing I'm gonna need to do actually just noticed uh, is that um, the connection here, the HTTP is actually, we need to change it to HTTPS. So unfortunately, uh, my deployment is, is currently happening. So I can deploy, uh, I can't abort the deployment at this moment. But as soon as it fails, I'm going to switch the, switch this over to HTTPS and uh, try my deployment again. All right, so this is now uh, changed to HTTPS because that's the actual proper URL. I'm going to click deployment again, and uh, uh, the SharePoint Online is going to ask me to authenticate. I'm going to enter my credentials, and my app is now in progress. Installation is in progress. So as soon as the uh, as, as soon as the installation completes, we're gonna have this particular um, pop-up saying that this app, SharePoint app two, is requesting full control to this site, to this parent site. Do you want to trust it? So obviously, if you want to, you know, it's up to you to whether you want to trust it or not. If you trusted a wrong app, it, you're gonna potentially do a lot of damage. But I'm gonna trust it because I trust my I trust my own app. So uh, I say okay. The installation was pretty smooth, right? There's nothing really complicated. I'm gonna hit the app default page and that will actually initiate my switching of the master page so we get a message here message here that says sharepoint app 2 yaroslav.master is now a current master page so as soon as i go back to my dev side my master page should be switched and it is switched to oslo so you can see the look and feel is a little bit different and also there is my uh there's my little tagline here that says that this is my master page so great uh, i've successfully deployed and set the current master page. So now let's see how we're gonna reverse this back using this uh, uh, simple mechanism of commenting and uncommenting things. So uh, to, to reverse this back, I'm just gonna switch 
um, to uh, my seattle.master, which is, uh, is not in my app site, so it's in catalogs master pages, which is on a regular uh, site. Uh, I'm going to comment the other one, do a deployment, and you can see that retraction of the app is um, is happening and uh, and the uh, as soon as soon as that's complete the app is going to be installed and every and and the master page is going to be switched as soon as we hit the page again so um, if you find this particular customization useful you also might be uh, interested in the new book that I published which has a pretty large chunk to sh dedicated to SharePoint branding and development um, and uh, the book, if you're interested, is called Rapid SharePoint 2013 Development. It's available on Amazon. Uh, so here's my little marketing plug. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's where you can find lots of uh, different goodies like, like this particular uh, video that we're looking at right now. So while we're doing the marketing pl uh, the plug, the uh, installation finished, I'm going to trust this particular app as well. Hit the app site. And uh, as you can see, the uh, the new master page has been set. Unfortunately, the old master page didn't anticipate the app site is going to be uh, badly broken. So here's a learning uh, tip. Make sure that your master page doesn't break other sites, such as uh, the app site. In our case, it did, even though the home page looked OK. So I'm going to just go back. Um, and here's my, you know, here's my um, main site switched to the way it was before. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.